Hey guys, I thought I'd show you what my commute looks like. It's an arduous journey all the way to the uh, study right here. Ooh. So, um, yeah, I work from home. And um, I share this with my brother-in-law and he's an avid collector. To be honest, I don't have any books, I don't have any Lego. Um, so, but I've taken over this desk, pretty much. Uh, in fact, I usually have another laptop over here, either MacBook Pro or um, or another or, or my X220. So yeah, this is where I I clock in uh, eight hours a day. I'd say quite easily. Um, I used to work from a place, a co-working space called Hackerspace, but. Um, well, the big problem here is like recording videos, you need a quiet place. And most co-working spaces are simply not quiet or, or you know, right for recording video. Right, so business update. I, um, the big thing with business is that it's been slow and I wonder if it's because, you know, that's the, I don't even know what it is. But I did change the billing so that people have to, um, I did change the sort of what you call it, um, first experience of Web Converger that they actually have to get out their card and subscribe to go on the trial. Previously you didn't need a credit card or a payment to go on trial. And I'm, the feeling I have every morning of late is was it the right decision because I'm getting less trialers? or if you know what I mean, less people using the configuration service which which sets up the um, the service. So they end up just using the, the free version, which a lot of people do. I um, um, don't really mind that, but um, I, I want people to start paying me. So, so business has been slow and um, as I mentioned in my previous vlog, though I am excitedly working on a new feature for web converger exciting feature um, so can you see that that's Firefox but you can see you see how the oh crikey you see how the user interface is sort of got like a graphic uh, and Firefox has these things called themes and I actually do get requests for changing the web converger boot background and things like that and I say to my customers, well, the machine shouldn't boot, it should just be ready for the, uh, for the client. Um, but for some reason, I've only just recently, uh, someone recently said, why don't you um, theme the, uh, the browser user interface, or it's also known as Chrome. And I thought, yeah, I've been mean, I had that on my, you know, backlog, but I never got around to doing it. And I think, um, you know, my clients are usually like big companies, who are quite, what do you call it, brand aware. And I think this could be a killer feature if I implement it correctly. Because, you know, um, a big company with a strong brand, I don't know, Coca-Cola, and they have kiosks, now they can basically, uh, with the API that I propose, they, they, in, my, in the configuration they can sort of set a particular theme which the kiosks get loaded with on boot. And um, so when people use their kiosks, could be factory workers clocking in, clocking out, or looking up their pay slips or something like that, then they get that sort of strong feeling that this is part of the company or something like that. 11.35, I usually actually have lunch around 12, but my morning is basically just been emails. I've been uh, busy with, um, chasing up invoices and revising invoices and that sort of thing and that takes a lot of time actually yeah you know um, some help with their printer configurations which is always a nightmare and also getting pop-ups pop to work and since there's so many different sorts of pop-ups that's a nightmare it's strange when people sign up to use the service they usually use an alias or something like that like not their um, work email so it's always a nice surprise when I get like uh, an email later saying, um, oh, we're using this in a Swedish police station for the last XYZ months and now we want to buy a subscription. 
So, uh, yeah, that's the old model where they, they've been trialing it for free. And if they had one subscription, I didn't actually bother them. But now, as I mentioned earlier, that I, if people want to trial, they have to whip out the credit card and then they have it go on a 30-day trial. So, yeah, I'm weighing up this, like, 30-day trial um, thing with a credit card versus using it for months and months and months. And I don't... And I, I, I usually sort of drop a sort of a templated email saying how's everything going but usually no, no one ever replies to that and it is very occasional that like a one machine deployment will come back to me it's usually those multiple machine deployments i i, I notice very easily and 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 they and they realize that they should be paying me at that point too so that that, that what is what usually um happens so about once a week i get out of the house <laughs> no a little bit more than that. Well, I'm going to meet some fellow geeks for lunch. Um, it's really difficult to work at home. There was some drilling and more construction happening. That's like a fact of life in Singapore. But one awesome fact of life in Singapore is great food. <laughs> I'm going to have some, looking forward to the noodles. So, I've been working on System D <laughs> container stuff today. At a coffee, at a coffee place with some other geeks. Sometimes, sometimes we talk to each other. Other times we just sit and work. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. It's half past four. And it's time to head home now. Phew. So I've walked back home. Uh, bus has kind of let me down, and. Um, I don't know what the time is because I'm just using my phone. Uh, it's time to get back to work and uh, thankfully there's no construction. Hey guys, it's half past eight and uh, what did I achieve today? I think most of the things on my on my to-do list except themes. I'd spent a lot of time updating the developer documentation so that you could contribute to Web Converger. Uh, and the way I um, reset up everything was with Docker. I think Docker is like the easiest thing to to get running on um, different systems. So even if you have like a MacBook, I think you should be able to run a, a Docker image with the whole Web Converger build environment. So there, I did that today. I have I have actually ordered a G7X Mark II. So yeah, oh yeah, I should get it and. Um, and that's going to be delivered to my parents' address in the UK, and delivery is in two weeks or something. That's estimated. Um, well, this video was just trying to get you on the same page about my typical day, and uh, it'd be great to get your feedback about what I'm doing wrong. I, I to be honest, I for the majority since I work for myself, it's really difficult to stay motivated and so it's half past eight here in Singapore and actually I dare say I get a trickle of uh, sales and support questions usually quite late at night and uh, I sometimes feel like I'm doing a terrible job because I'm usually quite tired at half past eight and uh, yeah so I, I usually stick around here at night uh, or have the laptop with me in my in my bedroom just to just to answer the one or two emails that generally come up. Me. So that's it, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna wish you all good night, and uh, I'll be editing this video tomorrow morning. And it'd be great to get your comments and feedback and your likes. See ya.